Welcome to Grumpy Guy Gaming and uh, it's time for another quick update what's been going on privately standard crap always uh, nothing spectacular nothing from the adoption agencies so everything's been quiet uh, what else uh, hobby wise had motivation to paint so I painted the whole Tyranid army or Necro Necromunda fort some two gangs, high elves working on uh, Titanicus, on this also on more Necromunda, uh, Horus Heresy, of course. So I'm just jumping when I'm a little bit see that it's, I'm slowly getting tired of one project, just jump to another, do it a little bit, and get back to finish this one. Uh, that's it. Uh, been a little bit sick, a few days, but nothing, nothing like just been pain and everything, which is normal year of uh, production. <laughs> uh, what else? Um, let's go to the news. Uh, GW did announce a lot of stuff, so we they announced the new starter set for Warcry. I mean not start like exp expansion to the Gnarud Gnarud uh, oh, Heart of Gur sorry which looks nice the set get we get we get we get uh, the Lizardmen Kabalans Kings like uh, protectors of this forest and Sench uh, Warband which looks okay so the Kings look really look nice, really dynamic poses and everything. Uh, the central really like, the champion has like a big ass stone on it, which look nice. Uh, again, when you see them in person, probably will look even better. The terrain itself expands on the Gur, Heart of Gur box set, so you get more of the same one, not the same. Uh, different designs and everything which is cool definitely if you want like a full table of Gnarl definitely so it will be worth the buy uh, what else did they announce some Chaos Warriors new ones standard Chaos Warriors will look nice so a little bit different paint scheme that normal I think they used the contrast on the armor but yeah you'll see the pictures here also they now the new starter set has been on pre-order the like army set which is with the new demon prince and those like stormcast chaos warriors uh, what else what else the imperial guard had more announcements like uh, the regal dawn tank or rogal dawn rogal dawn I don't know. Uh, looks nice. It's like a combination of the standard design plus the Vietnam American Vietnam tanks. Yeah, it's like more more rounded shapes. It looks nice. The only thing I like maybe have an issue with logically is the guy with the machine gun standing outside. I think he's get gets fucked real fast in battle. <laughs> maybe. If they put like a, a shield in front of the gun, it may have more sense. But nah, it looks good. It's bigger. Uh, it's bigger than the La Lemon Russ. So there's like a lot of pictures of size comparisons. They also showed the uh, Tilan Rough, Rise Rough Riders, which look nice. Again, can. From the pictures, they're okay, but they're rough riders, so good. It's nice that they brought them back. Uh, also, they got that uh, Lord Macarius, or the guy, like some kind of leader on a horse. It's a little bit strange, like big base. He's on some mechanical crap. Maybe a new model for Chaos. I don't know. Uh, he's like having swords. He's on horse, so it's a little bit different, but I think when you look at him, different, maybe a different base and everything, maybe he will be better. Ah, he's a good, 
what else did they announce? I'll probably forget something. I'm definitely forgetting something. Uh, for Titanic, they did announce the Graviton guns. Or did it release? Uh, uh, that's the only thing for Titanic. Sarnautic, I didn't, didn't think they didn't announce anything. Underworlds, nothing. That's it. That's nothing special. Uh, probably forgetting something. Definitely. I have a lot of unboxings and a lot of work, so always forget. Need to record the unboxings for Zombie Side that are live. I think you saw. Uh, Shadow Walls. I need to finish up, wrap the recording of that. Some unboxings from the Warhammer commemorative series that the Bayard's Revenge and the Sniper from the Warhammer Plus C TV. I have a Proteus that I need to unbox to record. I have like Trudvan Legends, Solomon K. I forgot to unbox. There's like at least 30 unboxings I need to do. Where it's, I'm just too lazy. I need to organize myself better what else the kickstarter thing i stopped monitoring except cool mini so cool mini at the moment has the uh that may die tool that may die season three i think and there's a lot of expansions and everything which looks cool but financially i'm not going great so Probably won't do, won't be investing any Kickstarters any so time soon. Although I like the game, the game is excellent, and this expansion has like cool monsters and everything. But life, as you will see. Uh, now, guys, let's go to the table, and I'll show you, show you what I've done. I was is plan next, and that's it. Let's go. And this is what has been done for the last update. So let's take a look. So I have a uh, high guard, tyrant guard, lictors. Uh, I don't know his name. Tyrant effects, Marceptor, Aerospex, Shit effects. Harpy, Tygon, uh, Terrigon, Old One Eye, Rude Lord, Zone Torp, Spore Mines, Melon Torps, Hormagounts, uh, Warriors, Converted, uh, Hive Tyrant, old metal gargoyles <coughs> reaper swarm swarm lord and more tyrant guard the old metal ones that i really like more then we have then i done the slave ogrens uh, corpse grinder cult this one all table this is all tabletop so nothing spectacular uh Necromunda Fort uh, Showcase level Tyrion Hawk or Eagle some characters and uh, how to say Dragon Princess which is good then some static grass I'm doing and a next one next project is like titanicus i need to finish so that's it that's it a little bit more work than normally i'm a little bit inspired so leave a comment below tell me what you think subscribe to my channel if you're not a subscriber hit the bell button to get notifications when i upload a new video and thank you for watching and stay grumpy